If we always try to fit in, we'll never have any adventures. And Cape Town-based Shamara Moodley definitely doesn't believe in blending in with the wallpaper. She sees style as a journey. So Karishma joined her for an exploratory trip. A city bus may seem an unusual location for a fashion shoot, but let's face it, the Lani Rani just doesn't do conventional. Shamara Moodley has the knack of looking stylish and regal no matter where she may be. And Karishma was looking forward to meeting her, not at the bus stop, but at home. I first came across Shamara Moodley on Instagram and she instantly captivated me with her Indo-Western style and eclectic vibe. Today I get to spend some time with her and find out a bit more about the lady that calls herself Lani Rani. A child of the 80s, Shamara pretty much paid her way through university by working as a commercial model. And while she found the experience useful and profitable, she also knew that it would never suit her in the long term. Her modeling skills are still very handy, but for the moment she is taking a break from her accounting career to focus on her children. Shamara, so lovely to meet you. Oh, you too. How are you? I'm great, and you? I'm so good, I'm so excited to be here. You look amazing as always. What have you been up to? Oh, well, today I had such a cool morning. I just came back from an amazing photo shoot. Um, it's a very exciting project. I can't wait to hear more. Okay, awesome. Why don't you come in and we'll chat about it. Let's go. The interior of Shamara's home reflects the same sense of eclectic elegance as her wardrobe, with the Eastern heritage very much in evidence. Wow, I absolutely adore your home. How do you go about curating all your wonderful pieces? Actually, I just go on instinct. So if I like something, I buy it. I just love a sense of magic, a sense of innocence. I love, you know, essence of childhood. And when I choose things, I just choose things that I love. What are some of your favorite pieces in your home? I have to say, I love the painting of the old lady there. She's just such a happy soul and she just brings so much of joy. Every time I look at her, I feel inspired and I just feel a sense of serene peace. And another thing that I absolutely love is my fireplace. It's just a quaint little piece of happiness. It's a very eclectic mix of different colors and different shapes. It's actually handmade Moroccan tiles. And the first time I saw them, I absolutely loved them. I knew I had to have them. And I think my husband did a fabulous job. I think it really just creates a warm, a happy environment in our living room. I'd love to tell you more, but I need to get out of this gear, get out of these heels, so I'm gonna head off to change. I would love a sneak peek into your closet. Sure, come along, let's go. Wow, this is so cool. Shamara, where does your sense of style come from? It's definitely influenced by both my grandmothers. I love a little bit of granny chic. I love vintage. I love old things. I love Indian fabrics. And I think it's to do with my heritage being Indian, South African, and living abroad in Ireland. It's just such a melting pot, a mixed masala, if you'd like, of different fusion styles. And how did your sense of fashion and your love for DIY develop over the years? Ever since I was a child, I've always been a little bit of a maker. I've loved taking old things and making it into something new, just creating my own stamp on every little thing that I do, just making unique pieces. I love making, I love feeling things, and it's really just that passion that drives me. Now, I would love to know, what are some of your top tips for restyling Eastern wear? You do it so well. Well, first of all, I think it's to do with the fabric and the silhouette. If you want to make something Indian very modern, yet at the same time classic, use something like a blazer. Do you see, this is my granny's old Kanjivaram sari, which I repurposed into a blazer, and I think it just looks edgy, but it still has that warm Indian undertone, and I love that. If you look at my hemline on my dress, you see this is actually a bit of sari border that I had left over from something else that I made. And I think it just adds a little touch of Eastern without being too heavy. Oh, this is a sari belt, but it 
it's in a kimono style. So you're getting a little bit of the Japanese style blended with the Indian and I love that, I love fusion. This dress is a perfect example on how you take something that's essentially evening wear to make it daytime. You have beautiful pieces, there's no point in keeping them in your closet, you need to wear them. Look at this, it's hand beaded in India, so the way to make something this glamorous, wearable, would be to pair it with a very simple shirt like this and maybe even belt it up. So then it really just takes this from evening to daytime. I love that. If you take a look here, this bag. So this is repurposed from a Turkish rug and it's just always my idea that I would love to wear carpet. And this is my way. That is so quirky, I love it. What made you want to start a blog? I had so much of creativity built up inside of me and I thought I could use fashion as a means to channel that. But also to inspire regular people to go out there, do something that makes you happy, that you have a passion for. Shibara's Kitchen tells a similar story. With clinical whites and chrome surfaces and high-tech gadgets conspicuous by their absence. It's a warm, inviting space with a hint of nostalgia but also funky enough not to seem old-fashioned. Oh, this looks interesting. Karishma, this is a secret magic ingredient chocolate cake that you're going to love. The secret ingredients that makes this gluten-free and dairy-free is something that's full of protein and full of fiber. And something that goes really nice with roti. Can you guess? It's a curry. Vegetarian. Beans. Uh-huh. Would you believe it? So it's two minute cake, you whack it in the blender, can of beans and a couple of other ingredients, and they have a delicious, healthy chocolate cake. Wow, with beans. Now this is my chocolate ganache hack. But it's super healthy, again, full of protein. You can guess what this is, right? Peanut butter. Yes, peanut butter. And this one? Cacao. Yes, and this is just some raw honey. Have a little bit of boiling water. Mm -hmm. You kind of just whack it in. Give it a quick stir and guess what? You pourable chocolate ganache. Well, full chocolate ganache, but healthy and yummy, I promise. Shamara, I'm so curious. You're such a creative person. What drew you to a career as a CA and how do you think it impacts your life now? Well, growing up in a good, solid Indian family, education comes first, right? So my parents always advised me that you need a career option to fall back on and I think finance makes sense because honestly, I do like numbers. So, you know, a career as a CMA has really driven me to travel the world. I've worked on a lot of global brands, global innovation. I've got to meet a number of markets, consumers, and all of those insights I can actually apply to my blog. You need to understand your target audience, how to drive traffic, and how to make the world go round, don't they? That's looking so yummy. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. That looks so good. Karishma, would you mind just plonking that on top? Mm -hmm. So oozy. Oh, Krishma, this is the best part. It's dribbling and it looks so yummy. I can't wait. Krishma, would you mind putting that on there? We can add the finishing touches before we eat. Shamara used the nuts to create a desert landscape in miniature, ready for some fauna and flora. It looks so beautiful. Right, so here's the best part. Time to taste. Do you want to go? Let's yes. go. Ta da! How do you balance being a mum, a wife, and curating a blog? It is a challenge at times, but children grow up so fast. And as a mum, I want to make this experience as magical as I possibly can for my children. So, my home, I think even the way I blog, my kids and my husband are very involved with what I do. To be honest, they're some of my biggest critics. You've lived in Ireland for a number of years. What took you to Ireland and what brought you back home? It was opportunities for both my husband and myself, career opportunities, but we also just wanted to travel before we had kids. You know, we just wanted to get out there, experience life in a different country. And I think in many ways, I really came into my own style whilst living abroad. Why did I come back? Well, my husband has a job opportunity here. And I mean, who could not want to come and live in Cape Town, it's literally heaven on earth. Jamara, thank you so much for today. I've absolutely loved getting to know you a little bit better, but I cannot wait to taste that cake. You've done lots of hard work, so now you have fun, let's eat some.